Hello Oracle Database fans, this is Justin, and in this Oracle Database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to show you um, how to work with variables. It's a basic PLSQL Plus tutorial on how to work with variables um, in the PLSQL Plus Oracle programming language. Now, what is PLSQL? Well, PLSQL stands for Procedural Language Slash Structured Query Language, and it's spelled like this, PL forward slash SQL. PLSQL is a programming language that is built into the Oracle database kernel, okay? And it's not a standalone language like C, okay, or Java to some extent, all right? It is a, it requires the Oracle database to run, and it runs within the Oracle database. Now, PLSQL is specific and proprietary to, or to the Oracle database. The PL part is. PL is an extension, Oracle's extension to SQL. Now, SQL, Structured Query Language, is not um, proprietary to Oracle. It's pretty much standard in the Oracle database world. I mean, in the database software world, anyway. And any RDBMS product, Relational Database Management System product, would use SQL, Structured Query Language. Okay, PLSQL is a programming language from Oracle which adds uh, programming language features to SQL that you would find in any standard language like C or Java or things or Perl or shell scripting in Unix and Linux or anything like that. So they'll provide um, condition testing with if statements, while loops, like while loops and for loops and uh, until loops and things like that. Uh, output variables like we're going to do today, functions, you know, it adds, you, there have been entire applications, user, um, end user applications written in PLSQL. Okay, and this video is going to show you how to set variables in the PLSQL language. Okay, so we set Oracle SID to finance. Ensure we're set properly. We are, and we connect to the finance database via SQL Plus. Type in the show user to connect it, just to um, verify we're connected as a SysDBA user, Sys. And we type in the select name, V$ sign database. To ensure we're connected to the finance database, which we are. Okay. So there are two types of PLSQL blocks, anonymous blocks and named blocks or stored blocks. Stored or named blocks are stored, the, the store PLSQL source code is stored in the Oracle database itself, more specifically in the system table space, the data dictionary. And you can call it at any time in the future once you write it and store it if you need, if you, if you think you're going to be executing it frequently or more than one time. Now, anonymous code is when you're just going to run it once, okay? And if you're going to, that means it's not stored in the database. It's just run. It's, it's an ad hoc run, if you will, okay? And for anonymous PLSQL blocks, if you wish to um, display output, you need to set the following SQL plus command before writing your and running your PLSQL code. And that command is as follows. Set server output on. And that's set server output one string on. Okay. Now what we're going to do, we're going to, when you write a PLSQL program, you write it in blocks. And if you're going to be using variables in your program, the first thing you need to do is you need to declare your variables, just like in Java and just like in C. I know you don't have to do this in shell script or Perl, okay? But in PLSQL, just like C and Java, you need to declare your variables prior to using them. And you do that with a special PLSQL block called declare. declare. So if you type in declare to tell Oracle that we're about to write PLSQL code, and, but, and we're going to um, set our variables. Okay. Now the first variable we're going to set is fname. Okay. Now this is you can name them whatever you want as long as they're not more than thirty characters. And I'll repeat: variable names can't be more than thirty characters long in Oracle. That seems to be a standard for a lot of their. Um, a lot, a lot of their names. Um, v underscore variable name. This is a standard in uh, Oracle Database PLSQL. I've seen it in a lot of Oracle books, and I've seen it at a lot of sites looking through uh, looking through people's PLSQL code and, and whatnot. I've seen that a lot in their scripts. Okay, so um, v underscore just uh, obviously means variable, and it's just a, a standard. Now, when you declare a variable. Remember, we're storing stuff in a database, so we have to tell the database what character type, data type we're going to use. Just like 
when you create a table and you define the data type of the columns that you're creating in your table. Okay. So this data type is going to be var car 20. Okay, because I'm trying to, because all I'm doing, because I'm saying that I'm going to use variable characters, doesn't matter what they are, numbers, uh, letters, whatever, up to 20 in my variable name. After we declare our variable, which we did, we can call the main function, if you will, of PLSQL, and we can start coding on the main part of our program. And uh, what we can do is we can now set the value of our variable, which is done as follows. The variable is already declared, so we can say v dollar v underscore f name, and now you have this is kind of like algebra, right? In um, kind of like algebra in math, right? So you have a variable. And then you're going to store um, a value in that variable, okay? So to do that in PLSQL, it's not just equals, it's uh, colon equals. So it's variable name that you declared up here in the declare section, um, colon equals, and then single quote, the value of your variable, which is my first name, Justin. Now what we're going to do is we're going to display Justin, okay, on the screen. So we're going to display the value of the F name variable on the screen. BVMS underscore output dot put underscore line. And this is a statement in PLSQL, which displays output. Parentheses. And we're going to type in V dollar F name, the name of the variable. Close our parentheses and put a semicolon. Now, as always, we're going to end our, P our begin block with end. We're going to tell Oracle to execute our PLSQL program with a forward slash. So we see what happens. What happened here? We started the declare section, where is where you, where you need to initialize or declare your variables. Then we went into the begin portion block of our PLSQL program, and we set the value of the var of the declared variable v underscore f name to Justin. Then we used the dvms underscore output dot put underscore line procedure here. Uh, to display the, or print, if you will, the value of the V underscore F name variable. Now, what you could also do is, in your declaration here, to cut down on, on, on line code, in your declaration section here, you can declare it like so. And after, and after, you, declare, and after you declare it like this, you can also set the value like so. Okay, begin. I'm going to cheat here. Oh, I said it twice, didn't I? <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, begin. We don't need that. Okay, so what we did here was in our declare block, declare section of code, we not only declared our variable set in its data type, like what kind of data type of data is going to, um, what type of data is going to store as its value, but we also set that value, okay? And that's what we did here. All right. And, um, and again, we're using the dbms underscore output dot put underscore line to show us how to print a, print, print a string. So now you know in PLSQL how to set a variable and how to, um, and how to display output. Now we're going to show you. Now I'm going to show you two, uh, another variable, just to show you how sensitive this is as far as character types go. So, let's say we wanted to create a variable called v underscore age. And let's say we said character ten equals thirty one. My age. Begin. DBMS underscore output put underscore line. Donald, B underscore age like so and slash. Okay, so you can even use numbers as the value here, okay, because characters accept uh, alpha or numbers. Okay, let's give you another example. Okay. What we're seeing, what we're seeing here, is that um, the, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Sorry about that. 
declare do number. There we go. Begin. Okay. Problem here is that remember we're working with the database is that um, we define the v underscore age variable to be a number data type, but we gave it a string. So if we were to execute this code again, and we were to say 31, again, it would work because, oops, you see, ah, see it's very, very, very frustrating here. Got to make sure you get a, you get the uh, right character type here. When, 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 whenever you're going back and whenever you're uh, recalling past output in the buffer, <laughs> you can recall the la the the uh, wrong one sometimes. So let's make sure v v underscore age number data type thirty one. Begin dbms output put underscore line v underscore age like so and go. Now it works. It works because we, we gave it the data type it was expected. See, number 10, we gave it 31, and it, we got no errors. However, up here, when we did when we did try to declare a variable, we set a number and we gave it a string, we got an error, okay? All right, that's how you declare variables in a PLSQL Plus program.